It is on. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, it's fine yeah, now. Have you switched it off? And that just kind of, you know, so when I went back at that 
time, remember also I was pregnant, so maybe vulnerable, I think vulnerable. And when I spoke the same, when we spoke to the story, speaking again, she said, actually, this is actually what is happening. This man I'm with, this one that you see there, hey, this one, actually has another woman there in the rural areas. <laughs> and this whole thing they are telling me in the hospital, part of it, I think it is her, was actually, so the story completely <laughs> shifts in terms of how you kind of, you know, you enter the, the, the field as well, it's so important. Uh, when you enter as yourself and you kind of bring yourself fully as well mm -hmm. and you let go. So it's almost speaking opposite to what you were saying mm -hmm. of the university. So bringing the university to your <laughs> back home, yeah? back home and, the, and the repercussions of, of, of that. Mm -hmm. But so, so I come across, but uh, when I come uh, uh, across is what intrigues me for me, I think what really uh, is, is, is the world, and I'm very grateful to, 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 to Bibi. Now we kind of maybe in a way which is beautiful as well, we don't agree on, you know, things. <laughs> because I, 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 you know, I, uh, I, I suppose took the Oyorimki room. <laughs> <laughs> So we have very interesting, actually, I think it just enriched those intellectual encounters because what it, for me, what it, uh, it, it did was almost open a whole universe of scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. And then when, you, and, and, and that's number one, but two, a whole way of thinking about knowledge itself. Knowledge itself. What, what 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 does it mean to know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so it opened, you know, that, that 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 up for me, and and I and and a very specific way of knowing because my a lot of what we had been introduced within, I think, in social uh, uh, sciences broadly, whether it was anthropology, sociology, or whatever it was, was that. Um, when you talk tradition, you're talking something static. When you're talking culture, you know, mm -hmm. all of these, all of these sort of negative, very negative corporate, uh, orientations towards these, these concepts, uh, right? Um, and so your work, you know, uh, uh, did something extremely uh, 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 different to that, uh, that it was innovative. Tradition can be innovative. Uh, in our culture, there are concepts which are actually mind-blowing. Uh, in our culture, there are concepts which actually can inform the world of how to think and how to be, you know, alternatively in this world, and I was like, what? you know? And of course, through this journey, I then, you know, you start to, uh, because uh, people belong to kind of very similar WhatsApp groups, eh? so I start to discuss people like Carolyn Cooper, because my background is also, oh, yes, oh, and my background is, uh, in fact, is uh, cultural studies. Uh, when I was at Sussex, I was doing cultural studies. And you can imagine Stuart Hall, which is good as well, you know, <laughs> you know, you know Marxist, you know, but it, it was via your work that I got to, who, uh, you know, got to know uh, people like Karen, who then, in terms of looking at concepts of sexuality, the mm. body, mm. and, uh, you know, this idea that the transgressive, your women that you like, <laughs> <laughs> Body, you know, um, is, is is in fact a, a, a body embodied with imbued with agency. Mm -hmm. And not only that, mm -hmm. not only that, it's a way because she does a lot of kind of I forget what she calls it, kind of uh, a neo oral. Her work is situated within a sort of a neo oral tradition. She says this is actually you can trace this back to um, a, 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 a fertility dances in the. You know, so she takes it and, shoe and all, that. all of that and memory and and you just it's just this richness and this expansiveness and this you know magic as well mm -hmm. magical and and, and and all of that and and you start enjoying uh, you know even the writing itself not only question what is knowledge in itself not only questioning all these things that we've been taught tradition culture. Uh, uh, you know, spiritual, all of these are these sort of archaic, very fossilized notion. No, uh, these, these are actually, when you get into this concept, you know, um, uh, there's a whole world, so to speak. Um, you know, so it was, so, 
And the idea of um, uh, what knowledge it is, it, it made me, like you don't take anything for granted. So with the world, sin, I love that. That mm. was for me also, the, the, the world view in both sense yes. mm -hmm. was very powerful in shaping my thing because then I began to, uh, and also playing with language. So I kind of also go into that in the, when I was doing my PhD, where I, th where I thought, wait a minute, when we talk, when we are sitting here, and I'm like, ah, I'm just see Segal, my dog. I don't feel her in my skin. I'm not feeling, I'm just see Segal. And where, and then, so what it does, when the, the entry, I think, says similar to what you were saying, Mother Hobo, when the book allowed me to, if if I was wearing a pair of glasses that made me see the world in pink, right? Mm -hmm. What it did to me, it allowed me, and in fact, I started using that word a lot after that. It made me see the world in cal callous, in color. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> in yes. Hello. Like this, <laughs> you know, just like exactly, it made me see things in that way. So when you go and you read a text, right? When I'm reading Carolyn Cooper's work, and I'm and I'm reading, I'm able to, you're able to with the uh, with now having the idea of looking at it through a, a lens of sense making, right? Mm -hmm. You're able to see so much more. You're able to bear it in ways that you wouldn't have made it before. So sense making for me was uh, really powerful. For me, it was it in fact made me even question kind of knowledge itself because then I could say, wait a minute, but you know the knowledge is these women and that I'm talking to who are so called and you know unemployed, uneducated, etc. All these women we've been talking about. Um, uh, their the, 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 the wisdom is a form of knowledge. That, that uh, uh, what is it in the blood? I think Carolyn Cooper talks about yes. it. Knowledge is of the blood. Yes. I immediately, could, when she said it, I could hook on. It was, you, you, you no, don't see it. The no. blood. Yes. So you immediately, it allowed a bridge. Had I read, had I read her without having come across the, the through the critique and now, okay, what's this book about? And, and the, the language, it would have been, I think, so much more difficult to sort of uh, uh, be able to um, hook on uh, onto those kinds of concepts that Carolyn was introducing us to, which very funnily are familiar. This is, a, it's our lived experience, you know? So, Jamaica, Jamaica. She's Jamaican. So these are, you know, so, um, yeah, so yeah, um, I think for me it was really the thing of uh, it challenge, it, it being the transition point for me mm. to enter into this kind of whatever word, Kale that <laughs> one that I can never pronounce, oh, object light. of lights and just, you know, and seeing layers. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> no dualism. No, oh, there's no dualism oh, there. Oh, oh, I didn't oh, think of that. I didn't think of that. So it's just color, and you know, and um, so knowledge itself, challenging what what knowledge means, but also, uh, yeah, also the idea of playing with the with playing with concepts. I really, for me, that that stood out very uh, stands out till now. I think it's always in the center of my work. How do you use, and that comes out, I think, from the book. How do you take concepts from our own lived experience and intellect, you know, and use them to theorize? How do uh, that give me permission? So I will, you know, I could you know, talk about uh, surviving as a form of uh, using the languages. That we've been used in yeah. culture of hustling or crime, yeah. and then taking that word and actually using it as a concept, an epistemological concept of how people talk about survival and how they, you know, understand survival. So, you know, yeah, the, the playing of language, the way of writing as well, giving permission to to write in a particular that there's not only one way of writing, there's so many ways of writing. You know, um, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to ask you to share my text.
making my PhD when I started to discover our ways of learning from ourselves, like coming across different theories and, and your work being one of those, and also you coming to this at that time being that moment. Oh, wow. That <laughs> yeah, it was here. <laughs> yes. Okay, seven years ago, I'm seeing people. <laughs> yeah. So, and it was always emphasized the fact that we should learn from ourselves, and we were like, such an idea of Yoruba. <laughs> you are close. <tossed. laughs> I don't know, but I tried. Yeah, yes. You are close. So, draw from what you know. Yes. What is this thing that you feel called in your own language? So, the importance of labeling the environment. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Because from there we draw our knowledge and also how we should practice that knowledge. So I got that. I wrote a few points, I won't go into all of them, but uh, I just want to say your work is a true, you, you showed through your work that knowledge is a true translator of a person's value system. Mm -hmm. Like when I said, when you just, when you spoke now, you mentioned something about they didn't see those aspects, the misinterpretation of beauty and that, and they didn't see other things. And this is, this is uh, their value system of not seeing other things except what matters to them. Exactly. And what matters to them is maleness. Mm -hmm. They see males um, like the writing of history. Mm -hmm. They see males wherever they go, means where they sit anything else. The missionaries, they write males into books. Is that because it? is that penis <laughs> envy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 My yeah. You can envy penis in the bedroom, or is it? Mm. <laughs> 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 so those means that they must be like the males of uh, everywhere. Why? You see that thing everywhere. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> 